Like how many how many cat's layers do you have? Cat's layer? Yeah. I got four in boxes now and one loose one. Before I used to have seven, I used to have four in boxes and three loose ones. But I, tr I traded or sold them. This is my first one that I ever got. This cat layer. From there I started buying more and more cat layers. This one, I click on um, all the stuff. Mostly, only can't see man. I've been collecting vintage toys for seven years. I want to start collecting because um, memories from my childhood. First toy I bought was the um, Thundercats. It was Lino. I bought it because that was my first figure that I mean, my parents bought me. The Lino I bought it at eBay. That's where I started everything from eBay. First, I started with the Thundercat line. After I completed that line, I started with He Man from there. I start buying every single line uh, every week, at least twice or three times a three times a week. Start buying tiger sharks, uh, silver hawks, Voltron, Ninja Turtles, a little of everything that reminds me of my childhood. I've been trying to put everything in this garage, you know, display, but I'm running out of room, so I need another room. I had a bathroom before. I made it as a little tour room as well. I don't have the man in there. I got. Three sharks in there, Voltron in there. Just everything. They love everything. I would look for rare stuff that it's hard to get. Like um, I bought on eBay. It had to be in good condition. It had to be complete now. Before I was just that picky. I always just get the figure. Now I need I need them complete. Type test shot. It's from Unit Toys. That's what I bought on Facebook from a group. And he offered it to me and I bought it. So it's, it's a Unit Toys. It's from Venezuela. So what is, is it? What is it like a prototype? A or? prototype. The first shot. Actually, my rare pieces are the, my prototypes. Thundercats and He Man. They um, it's one of one of a kind. I met some guy in Sweden. And he used to sell me those prototypes. Captain Shiner. Yeah. Is that the prototype? Yeah. This one I got I buy from Sweden. From a guy I know. The name Kristen. I buy from Kristen. And this is the second of the two. They're supposed to make another way for the Thundercats. But they stopped them. They stopped it because you know they just they stopped the the cartoons, so they stop the line. He's supposed to be la laughing and talking. The little hole right there, it's supposed to be a speaker. And then on um, the back, it was gonna be the, the electronic stuff. It's like, so he's one of the two that survived or they made. The first one, I don't know who had this thing, but this is the second one. What is that? Where'd you get this one? Same guy, same guy. Over there in um, Sweden. All, almost all of them I buy from there. The guy Kristen, the, the copy of the, after they, before they created it. You can take the hands off and... This is another prototype. Yeah, hard copy. Sort of. They call them hard copies, these ones. They're already painting and everything. They, don't have, they have the, I feel like wood, but it's not wood, it's a different material, I guess. Like how long do you think you'll you'll be collecting? All my life, I just don't, I, I can't stop collecting. When I order it, I'm, I'm anxious to get it. Like a little kid, I try to open it, get from Christmas. That's, yeah, that's how I feel. 
excited. Usually for me to sell something vintage, it's hard for me. If I had doubles, I would probably sell it to get something new that I don't have. That's the only reason I would sell it. If not, I would keep it. My wish list, I just got one already from the three I, I, I'm looking for. Right now, the one I'm looking for is from Ghostbusters Formation. It's to place it at the house, the command center. One of the rare um, pieces to get right so far for me. It's out there, but it, it's going for 2500 to get it. You know, it's like the most important piece. Not so much as, as far as the most expensive, but the one that has the most sentimental value. It'll be the Royal Ripper Big Wheel. When I was six years, six years old, I had one of those. I used to ride it. A couple days ago, I searched it on eBay and it pops up. Buying it now for 500 I, I put an offer for 350 I took it, so I bought it without the stickers. I'm, I'm supposed to get them by by next week. That took me on like seven years to find it. As a kid, my favorite toy was a Webster. There's a reason for the string. This one is from Mexico. It's a big head. If you put, if you compare it, look at his head. You see, this is Mexico. This is um, big old head. So would you say this is like your rarest, like, um, carded, like, Masters of the Universe set? You say, yeah. The rarest one, yeah. This one, I got two. The birds. The skelly. One is, um, from Can Canadian, the other one is France. You see, man? The back, yeah. Really. Shark with skeleton. I got a skeleton, aqua attack, and cliff climber. All three. Look at the arch. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Skeleton. Okay, we're going to go here. This the. the. Chapter. Like this is hard to find. Them. I got this. Cat, Catra with Cloutine. What's that? Sweet Bee with um, Christian Sun Dancer. Better Armor He Man. You know, how often do you come back here? Are you here like every day or you just kind of, do you ever get tired of, of just like being here or you? No, I, I come every day just to, you know, after work, just to relieve the stress or anything. Yeah. I just come, watch a movie or something, cartoons, and just hang out for an hour, an hour and a half. What was the toy that was hardest for you to get? The hardest toy was the Road Ripper. Oh. Uh -huh. If it's an action figure or if it's a vehicle, it was the, the Road Ripper on um, Big Wheel. Yeah. But for the, for the figure, it would probably have to be um, the Wonder Bray He Man they have in the back. Oh, okay. Great. It was a mail away from the Wonder Bray. You sent it to them and they would send you a Wonder Bray in a sealed bag. A lot of people are, they don't know what, what actually happened to this figure or what was it. If you try to get one out, out on the street, it could be a custom. A a fake. Going. Yeah, a fake one. Yeah. So I, what I did, I wanted to buy a, a graded one, so like that, I wouldn't get a fake one. So this was a 7.5. And the, he only came with these two, um, the axe and the sword. But there's some other ones that it has four or five of them, but not, it, it doesn't belong to him. Only these two.
So what would you say to, to somebody trying to start uh, collecting vintage, man? What, what kind of advice would you give them? Um, I guess start with, with, with your favorite oh, as a child, childhood. Let's start with your with the common ones from there, and then um, if you, if you like if you like the rare ones, it'll be after because um, they're pretty pricey. What are you gonna do when you run out of space? The only thing I could do is buy a new house. <laughs> buy a new house or extend my, extend my um, garage or something.